Hello, what I would like to look at today is how much work is done on an ideal gas in a thermodynamic process. To do this, we have to define our thermodynamic process. Uh, we don't have to know exactly what it is, but what we do have to know is how the pressure varies with the volume. In this case, well, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take a um, process that starts here at this initial pressure and volume. And goes to some um, final pressure and volume. This is what makes it an ideal gas process, is it goes from one set of state variables to another set of state variables. And something happens to them that goes there in some way. We're going to want them to go, in this case, as a parabola. So this is a parabolic curve about, starts here, smoothly goes up to there. So we're going to call this um, P is equal to alpha V squared. Okay, so that's roughly parabolic. That's the um, process that we're going to want to look at. So let's see, how are we going to work with this? We're going to need to know several things. So we've got an initial pressure, an initial volume, a final pressure, a final volume, and some constant here, A. Um, this con or alpha, excuse me. This constant defines um, defines this process. So that's a good representation of what's going on. We'd like to have some kind of way to identify uh, various processes. So let's see what's going on. We've got a given. We are given an initial state. And that initial state has several um, macroscopic th variables associated with it. Again, the ones we're interested in are pressure and volume. Um, so it turns out to figure this out, all we need is the volume. We have an initial volume of one cubic meter. Okay, um, and then we have a final volume. So we have a final state. This is the initial volume. Our final state is going to have twice the original volume. So Vf is equal to 2Vi. And that's the final volume. And we also know um, we also know the uh, path this process takes from the initial to the final state. So we have a thermodynamic process. That has a form P is equal to alpha v squared with the constant alpha equal to 5 atmospheres per meters cubed. Oh, excuse me, meters to the sixth. This is squared. And that, I think, is all we need to know to find the work done on the gas. During the process, W should also say the initial state of an ideal gas.
Okay. Um, the concept involved is the work done on an ideal gas. And the um, main equation that is W is equal to minus the integral from the initial state to the final state of P dV. Okay. This is a very important equation. You will see it again in thermodynamics. So well, how do we go about this? Well, we substitute um, this equation in here for the P. So um, our answer is something like W is equal to minus the integral from the initial volume to the final volume of alpha V squared dV. Alpha there is a constant, so we can just pull the constant out, minus alpha integral vi vf um, v squared dv. This is not going to be very um, difficult. It's one, the integral is one-third v cubed, so we have alpha over 3 vf cubed minus um, vi cubed. Um, you could you could resubstitute with the p here if you needed to, but we don't. We have what we need here, right? Vf is equal to 2 vi, so we can plug that in there. Um, alpha over 3, um, we have 2 vi cubed minus vi cubed so that's equal to minus seven thirds alpha vi cubed and we have with that um, some constants so let's see the, this constant is this guy here it's Five atmospheres per um, for every meters to the sixth, right? And then we have what? Where is this? Vi. That's one cubic meter, and that one cubic meter is going to be cubed. And it turns out that this atmospheres is not an SI unit. So we're also going to have to try to convert that. So one atmosphere per 101 kilopascals. That's our conversion from atmospheres to um, pascals. So um, let's see how much of this is really necessary. Okay, I will say we've got 35, so that's 11 and 2 thirds times 101 kilopascals. I think I'll go ahead and use the calculator. Excuse me. Okay, so we have 7 over 3 times 5 times 1 cubed, which is 1, times 101, um, which is, let's see, I think that's 1,000, yes, 1,178, um, 1,178 uh, kilojoules. So that's not really what we'd want. We want 1.18 um, megajoules. So, oh, excuse me, let me get a minus sign there. So the work is actually not being done 
on the gas. It's being done by the gas to in, in, to um, push something or something like that um, because this is a minus sign, right? So this gas has to do 1.18 megajoules worth of work in this process. Um, so how would we check that, right? We'd like to check our answer here. Our answers are our answers are best if they make sense. Um, so the first thing is 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 this a reasonable um, unit? And that's yes, right? So let's just go through that. Okay, I've got I've got these kilopascals. So let's say we've got a pascal here. These guys cancel times meters cubed. Um, and that's what a uh, newton per meter cubed is, or squared, excuse me, for our unit of um, our unit of pressure times a meters cubed, which is equal to a unit is a unit of force times a unit of distance, which is the same as being a joule usually. So that's absolutely correct. So at least we have the right units. Everything we've done here gives us the right units. Um, what are we left with there? Um, there's a question about the size of this. Is this okay? Is this not okay? I can't really tell you. Honestly, I can't, I can't tell you by looking at it. No, this is too abstract. So I think this is what we're going to have to go with. This is the best we can do for a check um, without maybe looking in the back of the book or something like that, which isn't really a check because in the real world, you're going to be designing things and there's, no going to, there's not going to be any sort of back of the book to look at. So we've got a very, a very nice little problem here. We go straight through and get some, um, and get some answer for the uh, amount of work done uh, done on this gas. Uh, I I think that's that's pretty good. Uh, I will see you in class.